Six years ago, many neighborhoods had alarming rates of obesity-related conditions like heart disease and diabetes. Six years ago, this city had fewer supermarkets per person than almost anywhere in America. If a mom wanted some fresh fruit for their kids' lunch in this community, she would have to navigate public transportation with big bags of groceries just to feed her kids. That would not be a big deal if most of us had vehicles, but most of us don't. People had to shop at corner stores. Their food was horrible. They had to buy things that wasn't nutrition for the kids. So that's how we set on a path to get a supermarket in this community. We're trying to figure out ways that supermarkets might be able to come back into neighborhoods. Here at the Food Trust, we develop GIS maps to describe problems in the community to stakeholders. We see where different factors overlap, where the supermarkets were and weren't, where the people were and weren't, and then you overlay in poverty or a lack of poverty and diet-related disease. And then, voila, there's our space that we really need to target and policymakers and community members could really get a look at where we should really focus our effort. Having a very clear graphical presentation really helps you get these projects done. The Food Trust said, hey, there's a legitimate need here. And as soon as possible, we opened the first store. This has opened up a whole world for us bringing up young people to teach them how to shop, how to deal with nutrition and to be healthier, and healthier children do better in school. And it's just a wonderful thing. You all took a stand, a really important collaborative stand. If you can do it here, we can do it in underserved communities all across this country. You could throw a lot of statistics at it. But there's something about seeing a map that speaks to people, especially policymakers, seeing highlighted in red your neighborhood as an area of high need. Projects are being funded, stores are being built because of this initiative. That should really raise the bar for other states wanting to know, well, what can we do?